Okay, well, we're at 2 p.m. So, and I'd said that was gonna be the starting time. So we'll start. Um, I have set this up so that anybody who joins um, after the starting time, that's fine, no problem at all. Um, what I'd said earlier was, I'm sure people are gonna have some questions I go along the way. If you can just kind of make a note or you can use the chat window as well, I'm happy to respond through that. But rather than people doing it through audio and asking, otherwise it will take a long time. Um, right, so uh, as you all know, uh, my name is Vicky, and um, oh, glasses on or off, God, I'm getting old. Uh, my name is Vicky, and I started uh, Weight Watchers, or what they call WW these days, they've gone like Kentucky Fried Chicken, so it's KFC, I don't know why they've called it WW. Um, we started it July the 7th, and I started it originally, I was very overweight, um, but I wasn't really bothered about it. Um, it was more because a friend of mine was very concerned about her weight and she didn't know what to do and she was feeling a bit helpless. And I said, look, let's get a group of us and let's start this thing together. So it's four of us that did it together. Um, we started it July the 7th, 2020. And since then, um, I have lost about 60 pounds. The other one of us, another one of us lost 60 pounds. One of us has lost about 40 pounds. The other one's lost about 30. So we've all done well on this. Um, the person who's lost 30 actually didn't have that much to lose in the first place. So, so <clears throat> something to be aware of right from the beginning. Weight Watchers does not have a Cayman chapter. They don't have a local chapter. They used to many years ago, but they don't. So there aren't any physical meetings to go to uh, or anything like that, the, which means that you have to sign up on an international site. The most obvious one is going to be the American one because that's where we get most of our products from as well. What, there is a Weight Watchers in Canada. There's a Weight Watchers in the UK. Um, but if you sign up for those programs, the majority of the foods are going to be ones that are specific to that country. So if you signed up for Weight Watchers UK, they'd probably have Tesco and Waitrose and all these other things, which I know we get some of those products here, but the majority is American stuff. When you go to Weight Watchers to sign up on the US site, <clears throat> it is going to look for an American billing address. You can't just put an international card in. However, we found a way around it. Now, me personally, I've actually got um, an American Express card with a US billing address. It does offer you the option of PayPal, but the moment you go into the PayPal option, it asks for a US billing address. So the workaround that we have found is to use a MasterCard. Visa doesn't work. If you go with MasterCard, you put in your name, you put in like the first part of your billing address, like PO box, whatever it is on your normal billing address for Cayman. But then you can put Georgetown, Florida, a zip code for Florida, and it will accept it. We've had a few people that have done this and it's worked for all of them. So you do have to have a MasterCard in order to be able to set up for this. Uh, we tried it with Visa. Visa doesn't accept it. So it's not to do with a Weight Watchers site. It seems to be specific to those credit cards. So MasterCard, you can fluff the address. You can do the first line as a set of your billing address, but then kind of put Miami, Florida, and then a US um, uh, zip code, and that should work for you. Now, the next thing after that is you would like to be able, so once you've signed up, and sorry, let, I'm jumping ahead of myself a bit here. There are, Weight Watchers, when we joined it, only had one plan, and that was a basic plan, and it was 20 US a month. Weight Watchers have recently upgraded or changed this, where they have a basic plan, then they have an intermediate plan, then they had an advanced plan. The intermediate and the advanced are more expensive. I personally would just go with the basic plan. You can also just try it for a month, which is great. If you go for a three month or a six month contract, uh, then you'll get your first month free or something. But again, if you just want to give this a try, go with the one month one, but remember it is going to automatically renew like everything else. So set a reminder in your calendar to cancel it if you're not liking it after the first month. Um, now, where am I? Right. So you can just use the website. You're going to want to sign up through the website. It's easier. So go on to www.com, sign up through the website, 
and then you'll get your Weight Watchers profile. It's going to ask you a number of different questions, which is going to lead to the color plan it's going to assign you. I'll get to that in a moment. What's also useful is if you have got an iTunes account, a US iTunes account on your smart device. This can either be through, sorry, I say iTunes, that's for me because I have Apple iTunes or Google, if you have an Android device. I don't think the Weight Watchers app is available on the Cayman um, iTunes store because we don't have a Weight Watchers here in Cayman. You don't have to have the app, but it's a really, really useful thing to have, particularly when you're going shopping because you can scan for groceries. If you don't have the app, you have to go onto the website and you just type in the name of whatever you've been eating and it'll bring up the points. Has anybody got any questions so far on this? If you'd like to type in the chat, or if you want to unmute and just ask me a question on any of this so far. Nope. Can somebody just send me something so I know everybody can still hear me? Okay, the app is the best. Yes, it is. It is very good. I agree, Deborah. The app is great to have. It's just some people might not have, um, might not have, uh, access to that app store, but absolutely, if you're signing up for the US, great, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, if you're signing up for the US um, Weight Watchers, you really do want to have that app. Um, it, it makes things so much easier. Now, for those of you who are wondering why I started this, um, I started because a friend of mine who is about 60 years old had lost 40 pounds. Um, I don't know about you, but when I see all these people that lose weight uh, online or in magazine articles, so many times they're 25, they're 30 years old, um, they're 25 to 30 years old, and you kind of go, well, of course, they're going to lose a fair bit of weight. But she was what inspired me because she's older than I am, and she still managed to lose a good amount of weight. So it just goes to show that the program works for all ages, which is fabulous. So you sign up for the account, you get the app if you can, and then here's the recommendations of equipment that I would suggest that you get. Good bathroom scales, because when 0.2 of a pound makes a difference, you wanna make sure you have good scales. I don't know about you, but I have had scales that I step on, I get off, step on them again, I've gained half a pound, step on them again, I've lost a pound. For something like this, you really want to make sure that you have good, accurate bathroom scales. Something else you want to get, kitchen scales, because when you're weighing your food, you really want an accurate amount. Portion control is so important with this, you'd be amazed how you think something weighs a certain amount and you'd be completely wrong. So a good set of kitchen scales, very important as well. I'm sure all of you have these anyway. I'm not much of a cook, uh, but I thought that I would, uh, I would bring it up anyway. Make sure that you've got a good set of measuring spoons and cups. Again, all about the portion control. So, you know, cup, half cup, quarter cup, all that kind of thing. Make sure you have those in your kitchen. And the final thing that I would recommend that you get, if you possibly can, is a Fitbit or an Apple Watch because when you wear them, they record every step that you make. You can record your exercise um, after you've done it. So you can say you've walked 30 minutes, you can put that into the app, you can type that into the website if that's what you're using. But the Fitbit or Apple Watch is gonna mark every step that you take, not just that, but it will motivate you. Like the Apple Watch, for example, has got rings that you have to close each day. So it's you stand at least uh, for one minute every 12 hours, you exercise for 30 minutes and it's got a move ring as well. It's amazing. I, I would be lost without it. I've got a really nice watch. I don't wear it anymore. I have to have my Apple watch because I have to make sure that I've closed my rings. It's a really, really good motivator. Not just that, but a Fitbit or an Apple watch will sync with your app, will sync with your Weight Watchers app so that means you don't even have to type anything in. All the workouts that you do, the number of steps that you do, all of that kind of stuff, it will record it in the app. And that's extremely helpful. All right, 
So as I said, there are three different types of plans they've got right now. I really would just start with the basic plan. The media, the intermediate one means that you can sign up for workshops and all this thing. But the basic plan gives you access to um, all the stuff I've already told you. So it, it can measure the amount of exercise you do each day. It's going to keep track of the food. It helps you scan food items that you buy, tell you how many points they are. And, um, and you also do get access 24-7 to coaches. So you can go to the coach thing. You can ask a question. You can ask for support. You get those on the basic plan. So again, it's up to you. But me personally, I would go with the basic one. Um, now, here we go, the colors. There are three different color plans that you will get with Weight Watchers. There's green, there's blue, and there's purple. Part of the reason I'd wanted to hold this talk is it took us a little bit of time to figure out exactly how these worked. What you need to know right off the bat is that all three plans work the same way. You're going to lose the same amount on one plan as you will another. When you sign up for Weight Watchers, it is going to ask you some questions. You're gonna have just a brief questionnaire. So it's gonna ask you by how much you normally eat vegetables. Are you a big fan of eggs? Uh, do you like seafood? Things of that nature. Based on how you answer those questions, it is gonna sign you a color plan. You don't have to stick with the color you're given. It's not like the sorting hat in Harry Potter. You're not gonna to have to stick with that plan, but they recommend that you try it for a couple of weeks. If you're not a big fan of it, you can change your color plan if you want to. Now, what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to, well, I'll explain briefly what the plans are, and then I'm gonna show you what they call the zero point list. The way that Weight Watchers works is you're given a certain amount of smart points a day. Smart points, you can use them for whatever you like. You want to have a scoop of ice cream if you want to have a chocolate bar i mean it's going to use up a good number of smart points but they are basically freedom points you can use them any way that you like so depending on your weight and uh, a number of other factors that you put in it's going to assign you a certain number of smart points so for me for example i'm at 30 smart points i started with a higher number but as i've lost weight it will reduce the number of points you're allowed so I'm allowed 30 smart points a day. So I have to try and fit whatever I'm eating into those, which is where you can scan barcodes with the app. It'll tell you how many points something is per serving, or you can type things in. The green plan that I'm on has got the most smart points. So you've got the most flexibility with items that you want to eat. But it also has the least amount of zero point foods. So zero point foods are foods that you can have as much as you like of them. So 30 points of, of whatever you like, but it's gonna add up. And then the zero point foods, you said, so for example, zero point foods for me on the green plan, which is pretty, they're fairly restrictive. It's basically fruits and vegetables. I can have as many grapes as I like. If I want to eat grapes after grapes after grapes, I can have them. You'll all be happy to hear that mangoes are also zero points. Um, so fruits, vegetables, you need them until the cows come home. Um, those are the zero point foods for the green plan. The blue plan is an in-between one. So you get less smart points a day. So slightly less of the kind of foods that I mentioned earlier, but you get a bigger range of zero points. So when you are on the blue plan, things like eggs and chicken and certain types of, types of seafood, all of those suddenly become zero point foods. So you can have, well, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could have 12 eggs in a day if you wanted and that's zero points for somebody on a blue plan. But remember they have less smart points. The purple plan, as you'll probably guess by now, has the least amount of smart points available a day, but it's got 300 zero point foods. So the green plan, I think it's got 100, blue plan's got 200, the purple plan has got 300 zero point foods. And this is when things like potatoes kick in. So it, you can have eggs, you can have potatoes. Um, it's got a wider range of zero point foods, but you've got less smart points available to you. 
Beyond smart points and the zero point foods, you also get weekly points. So you're going to get, sorry, I'm just going to check somebody's, okay, hang on. Somebody's messaging me just when I didn't forget. Okay, just occupied. All right, no worries. Sorry, just want to check that it's not somebody trying to get into this and they can't get in. Um, so aside from the smart points and the zero point foods, you also get weekly points. Weekly points are, what would I call them? I'd call them indulgence points. You, for me at the moment, I've got 30 smart points a day and I get 42 weekly points. You can use the weekly points any way you like. So I might want to just spread them out over the seven days. I might want to use three extra points here or four extra points here, whatever. And you're absolutely allowed to use your weekly points. When I started this, I wasn't touching mine at all, but you are, you are encouraged to use your weekly points. So you can either spread them out over the week, or if you're gonna have a big night out, you might wanna just save them for that particular night. So let's say your week starts on a Monday, Friday, you know that you've got a big dinner to go to. You go, okay, I'm not gonna touch my weekly points. I'm only gonna have my smart points through the week. But then the Friday night, I can use all of my weekly points. And that's what I've done sometimes when I've got an event or something like that. The final thing regarding points is fit points. So depending on the amount of exercise you do a week, you gain fit points, which again are recorded by your app. Yeah, sorry, my watch is talking to me. You get a certain number of fit points for the amount of exercise that you do. The Weight Watchers app requires that you do a certain number of fit points per week. I think it's around 28, between 26 and 28 points. And you gain those by walking, swimming, moving, even just a good number of steps per day, you're gonna build up your fit points. Once you get over that 28 point threshold, you're accumulating extra fit points that you can also use for food, uh, which let's face it, makes sense. So let's say you've got a big night, maybe you've got two big nights coming up in a week and you're going, how am I gonna manage this? You've got your weekly points, but if you start doing a lot more exercise, then you can get into your fit points as well. And it has that option to tell you how many fit points you've got that you can use for food. Um, so that's basically a breakdown of smart points. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to try and share my screen. I saved, uh, I saved the PDFs of the zero point foods. So I'm gonna try and show these to you just so you've got an idea. One minute, share screen, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So hopefully everybody can see this. This is the green zero point list. So you see there are fruits, vegetables, non-starchy, you get some sense and this, this information, you can just Google this. You don't have to become a member in order to see this. All you have to do is just Google www green plan zero point foods. So it'll give you a sense of what you can have. And as you'll see for the green plan, it's pretty much fruits and vegetables. All right. We're gonna go to the blue plan. Blue plan, we've then got beans and legumes. Fish and shellfish, it's terrific. Fish is, you can have as much as you like of so many things here. Um, lobster, there you go, go hog wild with the lobster. Um, sashimi, uh, shrimp I'm sure is in there, yes it is. And you'll see eggs, you get egg whites, egg yolks, eggs, chicken and turkey breast. You can have ground turkey breast, skinless chicken breast, skinless turkey breast, um, as, long, uh, as well as all the fruits and vegetables, tofu, non-fat yogurt. So you get more flexibility with your zero point foods. For the purple points, you'll see that there's loads more now. Beans, you've got vegetables here now, canned corn, corn, green peas, parsnips, peas. What else? Potatoes, sweet potatoes, dairy and dairy alternatives quick cooking brown rice. So you can have rice, pea pasta. So a lot more zero point foods, but again, 
less smart points per day. All right, so hopefully everybody's been able to see these. As I said, you don't have to worry about, you can always check these afterwards and Google them, but I just wanted to give you a sense of what I was talking about with the zero point foods. They're pretty good about listing them. They're not gonna have absolutely everything on there, but pretty much if something falls in a fruit and vegetable category, you can get it. Okay, let's stop the share here. Whoops, back to it. All right. Has anybody got any questions at this stage? Vicki, back to the um, equipment you used. Do you have any, um, what scales did you use for the bathroom and the kitchen? I have a set of digital scales. Um, I can't remember the brand of them, but I've got a, a set of digital scales called Thinner. Um, the, so those are the bathroom scales. I mean, most of the scales these days are pretty accurate. I like digital scales. Um, it's much easier, obviously, to read it, um, and uh, especially with my eyesight. Uh, but yeah, digital scales, good, good quality digital scales would be fine. And as far as the kitchen scale is concerned, I also do have a digital scale for that as well. Um, it's also got an option, I think it's called Pear, P-A-R-E, where you can put a bowl on it, press pair and it'll set it back to zero so you can put things in the bowl and it'll only measure the weight of what's in the bowl rather than with the bowl. Um, but yeah, that those are, it's just pretty much any kind of kitchen scale. I mean, kitchen scales have got to be accurate by design. Otherwise people, all their recipes are gonna turn out badly. Mm -hmm. But I would say if I was going to go um, with between analog, you know, the dial types or digital, I would go with digital. Okay. I have digital, so that works. Oh yeah, there you go. You're good. You're good, Allison. You're golden. Anybody got any other questions before we move on? No? I'm glad to hear that I'm making sense because I don't feel like I am at all. All right. <laughs> I hear myself talking. I'm like, what am I saying? All right. Next up, foods. Now, I tell you what, You'll turn into a food detective when you're on this thing. Um, you will figure out how to stretch a point, which is what we did. Uh, so, hi, Vicky, can you speak to what exercise can equal the 28 fit points? Um, it's really, it really doesn't take much. I would say uh, probably like 5,000 steps a day, and you'd be, which is again why you want these watches. Why you want these things that are measuring it because without that you, you can hardly be walking around everywhere counting the steps you're doing you're going to look nuts and it's going to get very boring for you very quickly um you you to have something like this is extremely useful but generally if you can just kind of keep moving um and i will get into what exercise we did just to encourage everybody to say you know you don't have to immediately get a gym membership and start going bananas with it uh the exercise it you don't even i'm not even talking about to get these fit points i'm not even talking about doing a workout per se if you can just keep getting up and keep moving and you're recording your steps you will get to those 28 fit points really really easily um, actually, let me check mine today. I can tell you how many steps I've recorded and how many points I'm already at. Where am I? Let me go to my Weight Watchers app. Many points. Okay. So I have I've walked eighteen hundred and fifty one steps today, which isn't much for me so far. But that's how much I've walked so far, and I'm already at two fit points. So it really it you really don't have to walk that much in order to get up to the, because 28 fit points, that's gonna be four points a day. So, hmm? okay, hi, I may have missed this. Can you enter the info and can you see how many smart points you would get in each color before deciding on which plan? Uh, you can, uh, but also what I, what you can do without committing to anything is if it assigns you, so Marina, if it assigns you, um, a green plan and you get those smart points, you can actually go into your user settings. You can change to blue, go back and see how many smart points it's allowing you. 
and then go back and change to green. There's no long-term commitment. It's not like once you've chosen a color, you're stuck with it. You can toggle between them all day long, if you like, to get an idea of, of what you're looking at. So don't worry in that regard. I said, you can, you can change, uh, like for example, my friend Lynn, who did it with us, she, um, she was assigned the, I think she was assigned the green plan with the rest of us. And she decided, um, she decided she was probably gonna want to do blue. So she went over to blue. She took a look to see how many smart points she would be allowed. She went, okay, I'll stick with that. But she didn't have to. She could have just gone straight back to green and been with the smart points she had. Um, Liz, the criteria for them allocating the color is the questionnaire that they give you at the beginning. They, they obviously through a number of questions, like uh, um, as I said earlier, if they say to you, um, how many times do you eat eggs a day? Uh, do you, would you say that you're a big one for eating vegetables? They, those are the kind of questions that they ask you at the beginning to get a sense of what your normal eating habits are. And then it's based on that, that they will assign you a color. So if you say, I can't live without cream and chocolate and ice cream, you're gonna get the green plan. Does that answer the question? Cause I saw, is that okay? Liz, talk to me. Wow. <laughs> I guess, thanks. Well, that's really positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, as I said, Liz, they, they try and you, it's completely up to you what you want to go with in the end, but they seem to be pretty accurate. I mean, they've, they've obviously been doing this for a while, so they seem to be pretty good about the way you respond to what foods they, um, you say you like and that you eat a lot that's what they, why they, why they will assign you that color. But again, you don't have to stick with it at all. You can, and, and they ask you to try and stick with the color they give you. Um, oh, you signed up, they gave you purple, not too many points then. No, no, it isn't. But yeah, I said, you can change it if you like. They, this is just what they recommend based on what you answer. But if you find the points too, the smart points too restrictive, then you can absolutely just go in and change the color yourself. You don't have to stick with it. It's just based on, on what they think. Is there a minimum amount of water you have to drink each day? Um, there, well, they certainly recommend that you, it's the fairly typical eight, um, eight glasses, I think it is a day. Um, ha ha ha, yeah, Julie, don't worry. I'm get, I've, I've got alcohol in its own separate in its own separate subject coming up so don't worry I will be getting to the to the alcohol subject um yeah drinking water it's kind of like anything else it's not going to affect your plan um you don't get any extra points or any any whatever for the amount of water that you drink but the more water you drink the better because if you don't drink a lot of water your body hangs on to it and you're going to get water weight so you want to keep drinking water because then your body is going to release it. Me personally, I'm not a huge um, drink water all the time kind of person. Um, so I, which is what I've got in this, I get crystal light. I put crystal light in water and, and I really like crystal light. So, and crystal light is zero points. So that's, that's how I drink the amount of water that I'm supposed to is I, I use crystal light. Um, you don't have to, if you're a water fan, that's great. But I would say just keep the water with you all the time um, because <laughs> forget the hydration aspect, you're gonna want to make sure all that water weight is out of your body because you're gonna wanna see it on the scales. Um, all right. So as I said, how to stretch a point. So we, when we started this, you, you kind of go, okay, I really love bread. Uh, bread, so I think a slice of white bread is two points. So in order to have a sandwich, you're already doing four points right there. And if you've got mine like 30 points, four points is a decent amount. So we, we started shopping for stuff and the things I'm gonna show you now are things that we have found locally um, that are great. I said, they might give you some ideas of what to do. Um, so I actually went to cost you less last night and these and they were sold out of these. So I sincerely hope they're getting more. I mean, they, they do seem to be pretty good about replenishing their stock. So, but anyway, so cost you less, these things. Joseph, uh, the black oat bran and whole wheat. I don't 
there's a kind of back to front where you're seeing it. But anyway, the brand is Joseph, but it's important that it's the black oat bran and the whole wheat pitas. These things are terrific. So you get the bread, they've got a nice flavor to them. And guess what? They're only one point a pita. And that's why it's really important to make sure it's this particular type that it's the flax, oat bran and whole wheat. Because if you get their other pitas, which look exactly the same in the same bag, it's four points. So these are terrific. I use them for wraps. I use them for sandwiches. You can just fill them, fill them up with um, lettuce and tomato and all those zero point foods and then put a bit of meat with them. And I just honestly, one point for these. These were a find. And you get very excited about this kind of stuff. You'll find something that's um, it's only one point or two points and you're calling everybody like, oh my God, I found these pita breads. In fact, when I told my friends that I was doing this today, they were a bit worried because we found all these foods that we really like that we that work so well. And they said, well, if you show everybody, they're all going to buy them and the place is going to sell out. But, you know, whatevs. I'm a generous person. Next thing. Where am I? All right. So these also cost you less. They're a pita. CPAC they're slim, so it's low point. Even, even if they're not zero point for you, even if you're not in the blue or purple plan, you're on the green plan like I am, three of these were five, five points. They're filling, they're delicious, and it really cures that, um, that desire for, oh, you can't hear me clearly when I'm showing something. Okay, can you hear me better now? Is it okay now? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. All right, thank you. All right, so then what I'll do is I'll show it first and then I'll say what it is. So those are CPAC shrimp rolls and you can get those that cost you less. And I love those things. You stick them in the toaster oven or the oven and they're crispy. They've got that fried thing because here, here's what I want to explain to everybody. I have done every single diet out there. I really have. I've done the cabbage soup diet. I've done the Atkins protein thing that, to the point that I thought I was going to vomit if I saw one more rotisserie chicken. Um, I've done all of those kind of diets. What I love about this is you really can satisfy a sweet tooth. If you find the right products, you can satisfy a sweet tooth or you can um, get, eat stuff that has got like this, like the fried... Um, the fried aspect to it so you don't feel like you're denying yourself all, all the time i gotta say when i see these stories of these people that lose a lot of weight and they go you know they started eating healthy and then there's inevitably a plate of just chicken breast with vegetables i just want to cry um that's why i love this is because if you choose the right foods and you're savvy about how you shop you really don't feel like you're denying yourself at all you've just got to do a bit of research and you know try and find things that work so again Cost you less, love them. No problem, Deborah. All right. I'm really, really nervous about showing these ones because we love these. I mean, I love those spring rolls. I really do. But yeah, nervous about showing these because we're big fans. Again, cost you less. You're gonna have to have a big freezer because you know what cost you less is like, like a box is for a family of 20, but anyway. All right. Now, again, I know that's kind of back to front, but those are Royal Asia Gourmet Shrimp Wonton Soup. The soup is delicious. You get three shrimp wontons in it. A bowl of that is only two points. Ah, oh, really, we go through loads of these. Um, I said it's got a very nice broth. It's got a bit of vegetables in there, a wonton soup with bok choy. And I said you get three nice plump shrimp wontons. Um, I don't recommend it enough, cost you less. All right, next up, I am uh, I like butter, who doesn't? Um, but when I'm having something like a bagel or a toast or whatever, butter is very high in points, which is I'm sure not a surprise to anybody. So we discovered these. And that's parquet spray, and I can't believe it's not butter spray. 
19 sprays, 19 spritzes of the I can't believe not, it's not butter spray is zero points before one point kicks in. Parquet spray, the parquet spray, you can spray it till the cows come home. So sometimes if I want to have a bagel, but I, I don't want to put any butter on it, I don't want to use those points. I'll just spray it with the, I can't believe it's not butter spray when it's still really hot and it gives it that buttery flavor, but without any points. I'm telling you, I've done a lot of research. All right. uh, next up. Progresso chicken noodle soup. This is a big can. It's got how many in it? It's got two cups, two cups in this. What I like about this uh, Progresso chicken noodle, you can get that at Foster's. Um, you don't have to get the low sodium, just get the regular sodium, um, like the regular soup. But it's two cups, it's hearty, the noodles are really big in it. And it's got a bit of an oiliness to the soup, which again, I really like because I don't know about you, but things like tuna in water, Ugh. I like to have something that's got a, a bit of, yeah, like just a bit of oiliness to it. So you don't feel like you're denying yourself. Um, an entire can of this is five points and it's a lot, it's a meal. Um, and if you only go with half a can, it's, it's two points. So, oh yeah, and that's something I need to tell you guys as well. Sometimes if you do one serving of something and it's two and it's two points, don't just assume that two servings is four points. Sometimes it'll bump it up to five. So just be prepared for that. Always check beforehand. But yeah, um, yeah, this uh, this soup, five points, delicious, thick noodles. I uh, love it. All right, what next? Um, Yes, I agree, Alison. The oil in tuna does make it more flavorful. Exactly. A tuna in water is revolting. I just, I can't stand it. So this is why I like that soup. I said it's got, it's got a bit of an oiliness to it. Um, so something I should uh, note before I go on with further foods here, further food examples, is when you sign up for Weight Watchers, they will send you recipes. And some of the recipes are really good. Others are okay. Um, if you Google top Weight Watchers recipes, they'll give you the best ones, the ones that are most popular. They have got these really nice um, pancakes that you can do in the morning. And by the way, they love banana. Anything that's kind of supposed to be a sweet thing, banana features a great deal in it. Uh, but these pancakes, they're really nice. You, you add a bit of cinnamon, a bit of nutmeg, and they're lovely. So do check out, when you sign up for it, do check out the Weight Watchers recipes. Also, YouTube, if you, you, if you go to YouTube and you do green plan recipes or green plan advice or blue plan, there are loads of YouTube videos um, for each of the different color plans. So you can check that out as well. Um, so alcohol. <laughs> Actually, no, let me get to the rest of the foods and then we'll get on to alcohol, which I know is a big deal. Um, just as far as meats are concerned, uh, beef is usually a pretty high point food. So I would avoid the beef as much as possible. You can go out and have a steak from time to time, just make sure what cuts the steak is. But low points are seafood, chicken, and believe it or not, pork is not a high point food. So another product. The brand name is Budig. Um, they've got honey ham slices, uh, turkey, you can get that at cost you less. Nine slices of this ham are three points, which is wonderful. So what I do sometimes is I'll get those Joseph pitas and I will put nine slices of the honey ham in with it with lettuce and tomato. And that is a really hearty sandwich. But I also like about this is that when you open, so, you've got a kind of Tupperware container that it comes in, and then there's a bag inside that that you open up to get the ham out. So once you've got the ham out that you want, you can just you know push down the top of the bag, but then you can seal it shut as the Tupperware. So it comes in its own Tupperware, which is very useful. All right. And again, that's cost you less. 
Remember I said earlier that pork is not high. Um, two slices of bacon, two slices of crispy bacon, three points. Fantastic. So if you have that with an egg, and again, check the way that you cook something. An egg, if you boil it, is two points. If you fry it, it's three points. So always bear those things in mind. But yeah, bacon, two slices, three points. So that is why with pork being low in points, Those bags, so that's fried pork rinds, chicharrons, which you can get at Foster's. At Foster's Kamana Bay, they're in aisle two. They're in the weirdest aisle. They're nowhere near all the rest of the chips. They're near like health products or something. But anyway, a whole bag of those, and I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about when I say that sometimes I just want the whole bag. I don't wanna be counting chips as I go. Um, Yes, exactly, Julie. Yes, they are. They're with the keto foods, precisely. So when you buy this, like a whole bag of this, and this is a family size bag, the whole bag is 11 points, which is terrific. Because sometimes, as I said, if you just want some sort of chip thing, those are the whole bag of it is 11 points. So pork rinds are going to be less points than uh, potato chips because the potato chips are potato and oil and that, whatever, whereas these are pork. So they're of more protein. All right. When I go to Foster's Kamana Bay, I don't know if any of you like sushi, but what I love picking up there, if they've got it in, if you go to the sushi counter, is um, these. So those are rice paper rolls. Uh, they come in usually salmon or tuna. Uh, or veggie with avocado. Now avocado, you know, it's, it's, it's you can imagine, it's got a few extra points than that it doesn't fall under your normal zero point vegetables or fruits. Um, but I worked it out that these are about two points, two to three points, and it's nice and it's hearty because they stuff the rice paper with vegetables and with the seafood uh, or with the avocado. So I like to have two or three of those in my fridge because they're very easy to eat. Um, and again, low in points. Now, condiments as well, ketchup, tablespoon is going to be one point. I love mayonnaise, but mayonnaise is high in points. So I get the Hellman's Light. I gotta say, I really like it. Um, I really like the Hellman's Light Mayonnaise. One tablespoon is one point instead of, I think it's three points with, with regular mayonnaise. Something else to be aware of as well. Sometimes a teaspoon of something is gonna be zero points. Like a teaspoon of ketchup, I think is, is zero points. Uh, the Hellman's Light is zero points. And you kind of go to yourself a teaspoon, that's it. You'd be amazed how much, especially if you pack it in, because trust me, when you get into this, you are going to want every last, but you are going to make sure there is not a pocket of air in that spoon or in that cup measure because you're going to want to get all that you're entitled to. So sometimes when I make sandwiches, I can do a teaspoon of the light mayonnaise. I spread it around the pita with the back of the spoon. It, I find it more effective than a knife. And it, I've got mayonnaise, but it's zero point. So just be aware of that. When, you're, when you've got your app, or even when you're on your website, just because one serving is a tablespoon and it's one point, you can adjust it to say one teaspoon. You'd be amazed how many of those are just zero points. So be aware of that as well. You can scale back the serving that you're choosing. You can go below what they consider to be one serving and it might end up being zero points, which is very useful. Now, let's get into the more important point stuff, which is sweet things. Um, first of all, what am I going to go with? Mm -hmm. All right. So, oh, and by the way, sorry, one other note. If you want to get healthy choice, which I highly recommend, the healthy, healthy choice meals are great. The healthy choice cafe steamers. Uh, what I also like about them is that you can just stick them in the microwave. Um, but don't worry, Luna. Alcohol. I know you're the second person to mention, don't you worry, because trust me, I like a drink. Um, healthy choice and lean cuisine meals, 
mainly Foster's. I don't shop in Hurley's that much because of my house location. So I don't know how they are with uh, with a selection, but Kirk's has got barely anything. So Kirk's has got a very, very limited amount of lean cuisine and healthy choice. So you're gonna wanna go to Foster's for stuff like that. And I said, the healthy choice, um, Cafe Steamers, they're terrific because you don't even have to pierce the, pierce the cellophane on the top, you just stick them in the microwave, set them for the amount of time they come out, empty the food into the sauce, mix it up and eat it, it's fabulous. Uh, and they, they range in points, the beef Merlot one, I think is only four points for that meal, uh, up to probably about eight or nine points for ones that have got pasta in them. But um, healthy choice lean cuisine, Foster's Kamana Bay, oh, sorry, Foster's in general is where you're gonna wanna go. I, I just don't find the selection very good at Kirk. However, both Foster's and Kirk, have got these. So those are actual WW products. And I, I don't really see any WW branded stuff down here. There's very, very little, but those I found. So the blue one are fudge bars. The red one is triple chocolate, which has actually got um, a bit of chocolate uh, around the top of it. And those are divine and they're four points each. Four points, they're fabulous. The blue ones, I've, I've only, um, Foster's at Kamana Bay only seems to carry the blue ones. Kurt Market carries both. So Kurt Market has got the red ones, which as I said, I've got chocolate around the top. And you know, when you're on one of these things, chocolate around the top is important. Um, I have a question from Mel C. Any local vendors doing weight watchers meals to order by any chance? I have actually spoken to Mo Cubbon, to Maureen Cubbon about this, and she is interested in it. I don't think there's anyone doing it as of right now, uh, but I did mention to her that I was going to be doing this, and she is interested in learning more about it. So she might be able to do that. Um, Marina, when you calculate points, there are general rules like 20 calories, one point. No, you're going to need to use the app to always calculate because, and you realize this, if you scan a barcode um, of a food that is not in the app, so you're using, if we're using a US-based app, a lot of British foods aren't in there. And of course we get British foods here. So I might scan a Waitrose product and it'll say, we can't find this product. Would you like to create it? So you have the chance to create it, but it asks you, all it asks you for everything basically on the ingredients list so it's going to ask you um the number of calories the number of fat the amount of fat all those things carbohydrates and that's how it works out the points so it isn't just calorie based it's uh, it's all of it all together so yeah weight watchers things i recommend both of those um next up <clears throat> you like cream, which I do, Ready Whip Fat Free. Now, they do have an extra creamy version that is also in a blue can. It's not the end of the world. Four and a half tablespoons. Yes, I've measured. Four and a half tablespoons um, is one point of the regular Ready Whip. But the Fat Free, I think tastes terrific, is zero points up to I think about five tablespoons. Um, this stuff is, is fabulous. I put it on so many different things, including but not limited to sugar-free jello. and sugar-free jello um, puddings. So sugar-free jello puddings, sugar-free jello. Sugar-free jello with a good, goodly splotch of that ready whip on top of it is zero points, which is oh, so terrific. It's like, so if you're at the end of the day and you're going, man, I really wanna have something sweet or whatever, but I'm, I'm out of my points, you just get a sugar-free jello, the flavor that you like. Um, I quite like the black cherry. Um, and then you put a splodge of that fat-free ready whip, that whole thing is zero points. The pudding cups are two points 
I think they're really nice, but especially if you put a bit of that ready whip on top of it as well, which doesn't add any points to it. So it's still just two points, but you get the ready whip on top. Something else I like to do, Foster's, so I, I said, I've suddenly really got into grapes. Um, I'm eating grapes morning and night. The grapes they've got at Foster's right now, I found them really good. Again, I, I haven't been to Kirk's much recently, but their produce is very good usually as well. And remember grapes are zero points. But anyway, Foster's, Kamana Bay, have got some lovely raspberries in right now because when I've gone there before, and you know what it's like on the island, it's, well, I suppose it's like anywhere in the world, there are seasons for things. And sometimes the raspberries are mealy and they're a little bit tart or sour. The raspberries that they have right now are divine. So what I do is I get a full thing of those because that's zero points, raspberries are zero points. I get a teaspoon of powdered sugar. I like using the powdered sugar because the granules are finer so it spreads further. I mean, you're gathering the level of research I've done on these things but you get the teaspoon of powdered sugar. That's one point. Spread it all over the raspberries. And then this, which is zero points. So you end up with a one point dessert when that's raspberries and sugar and cream. You really want to treat yourself. I found that at Kurt Market. Kurt Market, at the end of the aisle, when you're walking from the produce section, kind of down towards the deli, it's um, going to be on your right-hand side, the end of the aisle. They've suddenly brought in all these Italian creams. This one is a hazelnut and oh, I'm going to so mess this up. Nougat, nougat and hazelnut, double flavor tea cream. It's really strong chocolatey flavor, which is terrific. So you only need a little bit of it. Um, I had to basically use a magnifying glass to work out what, because I had to create this food, um, to work out what the points were for this, and everything was in Italian, but I worked it out, and one teaspoon of this is only one point. It's kind of like uh, Nutella, so what I might do is get the raspberries, put the powdered sugar on top of it, get a teaspoon of that stuff, and drizzle it over the raspberries, and then our old friend, the Fat Free Ready Whip. It's a big bowl of stuff. It's got the sweetness, it's got a bit of chocolatiness to it. Two points, fantastic. Um, I'm also a big fan of popsicles. I really like popsicles. Um, and so, I really like these Outshine ones. Um, those are acai blueberry. You can get those at Foster's Kamana Bay. Um, the, those are three points each. Just got to be careful though, because they have a coconut version. Coconut is a lot of points. So they've got a coconut version. Um, I think they've got a mango cream version again, because the cream, it's more points, but these ones are only three points. Um, they also have got um, uh, an ice cream brand. It, it's available at both Kurt Market and at Foster's called Enlighten. Uh, and it's got Snickerdoodle, which is the Snickerdoodle pint. When I say pint, um, you know, it's the regular kind of size that you get for Hagen does. But the, uh, the, the regular size of Enlighten Snickerdoodle, the whole thing, seven points. So imagine you can sit down with a spoon and just eat away at it like, we might do if we weren't on a diet and it's still only seven points. So um, so those are just some of the examples of the food. Now, as somebody said, alcohol, very, very important. <clears throat> Wine is actually pretty reasonable. Wine is five points, I think for five ounces, but it's a decent sized glass. And that could just be because it's made of grapes and grapes are zero points, I don't know. Oh no, sorry. So. Um, a glass, five ounces of red wine, five ounces of white wine is four points. Hallelujah. Um, so if you're saving up, and same thing with champagne. Champagne, rosé, it seems to be pretty much across the board. Five, five fluid ounces of uh, champagne, of wine is only four points. Uh, and five ounces is a fair bit. So, you know, you can, and now I do think it's one of these cases where if you have 
two glasses, like if you have 10 fluid ounces, it's not gonna be eight points, it's gonna be nine, but you can have your glasses. The other thing that uh, I like, because I'm a rum drinker, um, I will have rum, uh, rum and Diet Coke. So rum, one and a half ounces of rum is three points. Uh, same thing with vodka. Vodka, uh, one, uh, one and a half ounces is three points. And then I have the rum with the Diet Coke. I'm not a club soda fan. Um, so I don't, I don't, I wouldn't be drinking a vodka and soda, but if you do, that's fine because soda is zero points. Uh, but yeah, so in answer to the question, you do not have to give up alcohol. You just have to kind of be savvy about it. And when I say the rum is three points for one and a half ounces, if I want to kind of have a few glasses, um, I will just have one ounce, which is two points. So you can have kind of more glasses mixed with the Diet Coke. Uh, you just have to be careful about your mixes, really. I must admit, I was absolutely horrified when I saw how many points cranberry juice is. I mean, I was just drinking down cranberry juice and orange juice like the cows are coming home and I could not believe how many points there were. Uh, let's see, beer, I'm just gonna try and look it up here. 12 ounces of regular beer is five points. 12 ounces of light beer is three points. So yeah, not bad at all. Uh, Smirnoff ice, dear God, that we're getting into specifics now. <laughs> Smirnoff ice. Does anybody even still drink that? All right. All right. So Smirnoff ice zero sugar is three points, but Smirnoff ice regular is like 10 or 11 points. So Smirnoff ice seems to be up there in points. Uh, but it does look like um, light beer. Yeah, Marina, did you, did you hear me? The beer is uh, beer's not bad at all. Beer is... Yeah, beer, 12 ounces of beer is five points and 12 ounces of light beer is three points. So really, it's as I said, that's, that's pretty reasonable. Don't worry. Did, did you hear that, Marina? You still with us? You gonna be okay? <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Um, yeah, I said, I, I do get it. I get the struggle. I mean, I, I couldn't. I did mention already about exercise. Now, it's really, you can really, really build up your steps very quickly if you just kind of maybe get up every hour and walk back and forth in the house. Uh, my Apple Watch wants me to do 30 minutes of exercise every day. Now, when we started this, what we all did is we got in the pool and we just kind of like this in the pool, feet touching the bottom of the pool and just moved up and down in the pool listening to music. It was great, it was low impact because um, a couple of us had back problems. So you just, you wanted to make sure it was low impact, especially, oh, you know, back, knees, the whole nine yards. Uh, you just wanna make sure that when you're moving that, that it's not anything that's gonna be heavy impact on your joints. So moving in the pool was the best way for us to start. Uh, these days, if I'm not able to get into the pool or if I don't have time to do it or it's late in the evening, and we're watching TV, I will genuinely, I'll look at my watch, go, okay, I've got to do 30 minutes of exercise and I'll stand up and I'll just kind of march around the living room back and forth, back and forth, like a pensioner on a cruise ship. And I, I, get, my 30, I get my 30 minutes up. Um, if you're at work, let's say that you're in an office where there's stairs, maybe every hour set a, a recorder for yourself to go out, go up two flights of stairs, and then just kind of come back down again. Things like that really, really add up. I can't tell you enough. I had no idea how many steps I walked a day until I got this Apple Watch. I had no concept of it. And it has made me realize, if you, even if you just today, just walk from your bedroom to the kitchen and back, count the steps as you go in your head, you'd be surprised how many steps that is. It's, it's something like 40 or 50 steps. Well, I mean, I don't know how close your bedroom is to the kitchen. Maybe they're right next to each other. Maybe you're in a separate wing, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it really, really adds up. So it's just, even if you can't go out, go to the gym, go to this kind of stuff. We started this, as I said, in the pool, just moving up and down in the water. We started with 15 minutes. We kind of went to half an hour. Now we do an hour, but you know, a lot of the time we're chatting. We're not horribly out of breath. Um, we did a bit of yoga by Adrienne, which is on um, 
which is on YouTube. Um, is anyone serious? So zero sugar. <laughs> Boy, man, people like this smearing off ice. Who knew? Um, but yeah, we did yoga with Adrienne, which is a free free thing on YouTube. Uh, we also found some aerobics videos to retro music, which was great that we just kind of did in the living room. Uh, so if you're not one for just kind of walking around the living room um, or, oh, you're welcome, Caroline and everybody. Um, if, if you're not just, uh, if you don't feel like just walking around the living room, you can check out that yoga thing um, on YouTube, Yoga with Adrian. It's terrific. They've got stuff for beginners. And believe me, we're beginners. I mean, beginners. I'm about as flexible as a piece of two by four. And we did it. Mm. And um, I love the aerobics videos. Like there's tons of aerobics videos, Zumba videos. They're all available on the internet. And on, they're all available for free. So you just want to follow up on those kind of things and do exercise that way. But as I said, what I want to drive home to everybody is you do not have to, you don't have to suddenly go with, with this program, you don't have to suddenly go from eating chocolate and ice cream or whatever this to lettuce and, and a ball of chicken. You really can treat yourself. And, and as I said to you earlier, um, <laughs> thank you. Um, but as I said to you earlier, things like what I discussed already uh, with that light cream with this, you, you do not feel like you're depriving yourself. So long as you do the research, you're good. Um, the other thing to remember, yes, I know exactly, tons of videos of low impact cardio, those kind of things are terrific. Um, so uh, you also maybe have a big goal. I'm very, I'm fine to share the fact that when I started this, I was 260 pounds. I actually carry it fairly well, but it's also depressing every year when I look at the Super Bowl and I go, my God, you know, these quarterbacks, weigh the same amount as I do and they're like six foot seven or something so I started at 260 pounds I'm 200 pounds at the moment um I'm probably going to try and go down you know about 20 or 30 more um we'll see how it goes I'm I'm happy with how I look at the moment but I do want to try and lose more but just remember even if you've got a big goal ahead of you even if you go oh god I've got to lose 100 pounds don't just look at that goal so far away you're only going to need to take five or 10 off and you're going to start feeling it. That's the great thing. Don't look at it as this mountain you've got to climb. There are lots of, lots of there are lots of base camps like there are in Everest. <laughs> There's lots of base camps to go on along the way and you'll feel so much better about yourself so quickly. It, it's fabulous. And you'll get excited every time you find a food that it's low points, you'll be so excited about it. Trust me, we all were. Um, and so that's the way to look at it. Also, if you saw my weight pattern from July when we started, as they say in Weight Watchers, it is not just, you don't just keep going down like that. It is like the stock market. It goes up, then it'll go down, it'll go up. I had a few weeks where I could not get my weight to go down again. It was going up. I didn't know why but it can be hormones, it can be water retention. Oh, sorry, my Apple Watch just scared the life out of me. Um, you, you, you just keep going with it. If you're doing the right thing, then just keep going with it and it will start coming down again. You've just got to stick with it. I, it's so easy to say it because believe me, I've had my moments when I've got depressed, when I've gone, I'm sticking to all my smart points. I haven't touched my weekly points. I'm up three pounds, what the hell's going on? But what are you going to do? You're just going to kind of give up on it and then go back to where you were? No, no, no. You just keep going. And the other thing about this, the other thing about this program is it's supposed to be something that you can live with. Something you live with for the rest of your life. When you go on these really radical ones where I said it's cabbage soup or, you know, maybe you've got to have a honey enema making that up. But you know what I'm saying? Um, but when you go on these really radical ones, when you aren't losing the weight, when you do hit, hit a plateau, it's so much easier to give up because you're hating what you're on already. You're hating the diet. The only reason you're on it in the first place is because you're thinking, okay, well, if I can lose three pounds a week, it's worth it. But that's not, that's not a lifestyle. What is a lifestyle is to be on something that just doesn't feel like a strain. It doesn't feel like a sacrifice. You're actually enjoying what you're eating. 
And, and that's what we have discovered with this. It might take a bit of time to find foods that you like. Uh, you're gonna get the tricks, uh, as I said, as you start discovering more foods, but you will, you'll, you'll like it. So if you do gain a few pounds, it doesn't feel like the end of the world because you're not living on celery. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it is supposed to be a, a lifestyle. There will be weight fluctuations happened to all of us, believe me, even if you're sticking with it really, really well. And sometimes you're gonna to want to go onto the app uh, or the website and you're gonna to wanna to contact one of the coaches and go, what am I doing wrong here? I've been on this now for three weeks. I mean, this would be a while into it. You almost definitely are gonna lose in the first you know, month or so. But suppose you hit a plateau or you were even gaining a bit of weight, you can get in touch with the coaches and they might say to you, okay, if you've only been using your smart points, start using your, some of your weeklies like to kickstart your body a bit, start using your weeklies. Maybe the, you know, you're sticking with your smart points, mix it up a bit. If you've been using your smart points and all your weeklies, maybe just cut back to your smart points for a week. So the coaches are good like that. They'll, they'll as I said, you can chat with them online or through the app and, um, and they can help you out with those kind of questions. But the most important thing, and I can't stress this enough, is measuring your portions. Do not eyeball your portions. Uh, you think you know what a tablespoon of something is, you'd be amazed that you don't, that when, when you actually, if you put it into something, you'd find it's two tablespoons. Um, when you go, oh, that looks like about a pound of this, it's probably more like a pound and a half. That, that can be the biggest issue with hitting a plateau or being stuck is because you're not actually measuring things. It is so important to measure everything because then you you will you'll be sticking to it properly. Um, I said eyeball, eyeballing amounts does not work. And final thing with this, uh, before I ask for any more questions, um, you will break it at some point. You will have a night of cheating. I I had it recently. I was uh, I hosted something. I was well into the drink. Um, I drank a fair bit. <laughs> And then I kind of got home and I started to taste for it. So I had rums and diet cokes. And then I broke out a bag of potato chips. Mm. And I was points and points in. I mean, I didn't, I didn't allow myself any weekly points after that. My weight went up a bit in the morning, but those things are gonna happen. Again, if you like the program, if you're liking what you're on and you are sticking to it for the most part, you, you are going to have the odd break. The, the odd thing is going to happen or it's a birthday or it's, I mean, when it came to Christmas and New Year's, I went, I'm just going to enjoy myself. So, um, so if you will have moments like that. Just, you can't make them every week, obviously, but having the once in a while, don't let that undo all the good work you've done. Don't sort of go, well, don't give up and go, well, I've wrecked it now because that's bananas. Within a week or two weeks, you'll be back on it. No problem. Yes, Marina, did you have a question? I saw you put your hand up. Wondering is worth starting a closed Facebook a group. Yeah, I was thinking that as well, Sean. Um, I don't know that I would have the time to be the administrator or anything on it, but I do agree because I do understand. I mean, I'm actually fairly good about sticking with things on my own, but I do understand accountability. And even saying that there were days when I really didn't feel like exercising. And then uh, one of my friends in the group had said, um, one of my friends in the group said to me, uh, you know what, uh, let's, let's exercise today. And I kind of went, oh, not really in the mood. But I was so glad that she motivated me to do it. And I will never forget the words of Kerry Kanuga, uh, the ultra marathoner, which I am not. But when I interviewed her, she said, there are days when I really don't feel like working and I don't feel like doing anything. And she said, um, but I go to myself, all right, I can do anything for 10 minutes. And it's absolutely right. 10 minutes will go like that. And she said, I don't think I've ever just done 10 minutes, but that's what gets me off and gets me motivated. And it's absolutely true. You can do anything for 10 minutes. Just get up, walk around, just walk around. It adds up. But believe me when I tell you that if you possibly can get a Fitbit, get or get an Apple Watch, you can record everything manually, get not necessarily the steps that's going to be difficult but if you do like a 15 minute walk you can record that in your activities or whatever but but these things they're, they're so much so much help oh thanks maureen i appreciate it 
So uh, yes, has anybody got any any final questions? Feel free to unmute yourselves and ask me, or does, has anybody got anything they want to ask in the chat? Any tips for daily food planning preps? I am rotten at that, Judy Ann. I, I have to say, I'm really not very good with planning in advance, which is why having things like the pitas that I showed earlier and having um, the meats, having the healthy choice meals, and that's one of the questions they do ask you as well. When you when when you do the original questionnaire, it will say to you how many frozen meals do you eat. And I put, you know, I eat quite a lot, or I do eat them. And that's probably again why they put me on the green plan, um, because the, those have got so many points in them. But honestly, I I do I what I do like having are things. I always like having things like grapes, honey crisp apples in the fridge those kind of things that I can just snack on that are zero points um, and, and bananas. Uh, I like having those. Um, and what I will also do is I'm a night eater. I like eating later in the evening. So in the day, I will try and eat as many zero point foods as possible. I'll really try and pack myself up with zero point foods so I can save my, my points for later. And then you obviously know when, you, when you're gonna wanna eat the most. So try and do it around that try and save the majority of your points for that time and you know eat zero points on either side of that what do i typically eat in a day um again i, I do like my eggs and my bacon i like doing my wraps um i like sushi i love getting those uh those rice paper rolls that i discussed um i will sometimes cook up pork chops i like getting shrimp sometimes i'll buy one of these shrimp wheels from from um fosters in the freezer that come with their own dip in the center, you know, if you're gonna host a really cheap cocktail party. And I can sit down one of those and eat all the shrimp on that and that's four points. So I'm, because of my schedule and I'm very busy a lot of the time, um, I just find it so much easier to uh, have things like that. So I like the healthy choice frozen meals, but I do try and pack things out with fruit. And then Lynn, my best friend and flatmate, she makes a salad every night. Uh, she puts like half a tablespoon of Newman's own oil and vinegar dressing. That's one one point on top of the salad. So I try and keep my uh, veg vegetables going. Um, Liz, Vicky, will the points go up, down, up and down automatically after a few weeks? They do. You, every week you weigh in. So you choose when your weigh in day is um, of the week. Mine is a Monday, which I had considered moving because, you know, on the weekend is when you're going to tend to want to snack more. Um, but you choose your weigh-in day, which again, you can change later on if you want to. And it, every time you put in your weight, uh, the app will look at it. And then based on what you put in your weight, it'll go down. When it's your daily points, it'll go down by a point. So maybe you'll be on it for a few weeks, four weeks, five weeks. And then based on the new weight you've put in, it'll take it down by a point. I have not lost any weekly points yet, but my friends have. Um, when you lose weekly points, they, you lose like seven points because it's basically a point a day. So I'm still on 42 weekly points right now, but I'm sure any day now it's going to go down to 35. But yeah, it's based on your weight. And um, if you gain weight, uh, which hopefully you won't, but you know, as I said, these things fluctuate. Don't be surprised if the daily point comes back on and then it'll go off again when your weight drops again. Um, oh, thank you, Patty. Aileen, absolutely no problem. Stephanie, how do you track eating out at restaurants? Well, um, it depends what, you, what you're going for. Sometimes you've got a, got a guesstimate. Um, but for example, if I go out for a steak, um, it's going to say how many ounces the steak is uh, on the menu and what the cut is. So you can put that in. You can type that in. It isn't all about scanning barcodes. You can put in that it's uh, a ribeye steak and it's this many ounces and it will bring it up. Sometimes it's a guesstimate. And by the way, if I've got good news for everybody, if you're a Kentucky Fried Chicken fan, I think it's um, a leg, a, like a drumstick and a thigh is 11 points together. So we're all gonna survive this. <laughs> um, but yeah, tracking out, eating out at restaurants. I tend to eat at places like, I, I really, really like sushi. Um, so even if it doesn't have the exact thing, if I order a shrimp tempura roll, I can put in the Weight Watchers app shrimp tempura roll and um, it, it'll bring up other restaurants that have got rolls. And it, as I said, under those circumstances, it's a bit of a guess. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you, you just kind of guess and be smart about it, really. Uh, is cheese allowed? Cheese is allowed. Uh, regular cheese is, uh, 
going to be fairly high in points. Um, I have found that when I get uh, like I, I get the I've got the deluxe craft two percent slices, which I know as a British person is disgraceful because it's not that's like processed cheese. Um, but one to give you an example, one of those deluxe craft two percent milk slices is two points. You can have cheese, uh, but it's it's all kind of about you know spreading it out a bit. So so I I make a homemade pizza sometimes with one of those pizzas that I discussed. I get that. I get um, the pizza sauce, tomato pizza sauce. Again, using the back of the spoon, so you get like a quarter cup or even an eighth of a cup you can put on that. And then I sprinkle like a bit of craft cheese on top. Um, and it's not a phenomenal amount, but, and again, very few points, but it's really nice. And I put that in the toaster oven. Does the Weight Watchers help with prep? I'm not into frozen box food or cooked meals. Um, when you say, sorry, Luna, when you say, does it help with prep? Um, do you mean, does it help you with recipes or, or are you saying, are you asking if it helps with lunch ideas that don't involve frozen or cooked meals? I don't know if Luna can hear me. Yes, recipes. Yes, Weight Watchers has got some great recipes. In fact, Weight Watchers has got tons and tons of recipes. Um, they will email you. Um, once you become a member, they will email you stuff all the time. Plus you can just go into their list of recipes. Uh, I think one of their newest features, which I've not used is they'll sort of say, what have you got in your fridge? And they will come up with a recipe for you. The great thing about the Weight Watchers recipes is because remember, depending on what plan you're on, some ingredients in the recipes will be zero, will be um, zero points for some and not for others. So when you look at the Weight Watchers recipes, it will tell you per serving how many points for the green plan, how many points for the blue plan, how many points for the purple plan. So if let's say it's a shrimp dish, uh, for the green plan, some, the shrimp dish might be four points, but for the blue plan, it might only be two points because for the blue plan, shrimp and lobster and seafood and things like that are zero points. So yes, Weight Watchers has got tons and tons and tons of recipes, Luna, not, not a problem with that at all. And you don't have to wait for them to email you you can just uh, Google it, or uh, once you're in the app or you're on the website, you can just ask for recipes. You can search for recipes. No problem. Any other questions? All right. Well, I, oh, okay, got a dash. Yeah, I understand, no problem at all. <laughs> Okay, well, listen, everybody, I hope that you have found this um, informative and helpful. Um, you know, I said, I, I am very busy, but I am very happy if you have any further questions that you can um, Facebook message me and ask me. I'm very happy to answer any questions that you've got. Uh, but I said, you just got to go through and kind of figure out the app. But I thought it was very important to kind of know about these different color plans because really I said I've been to university it took me a week <laughs> to figure it out so <laughs> uh -huh. anyway everybody have a terrific Sunday enjoy and I do agree I think um oh where can friends see the recording of this well I'll be getting um I'm going to be getting the recording so I will send it out happily to everybody uh, not a problem all right so yeah I'll, I'll send out the list Great. And yeah, everybody, seriously, it's great. I mean, people keep saying to me, they say, oh, Vicky, so well done. I know what hard work it is. And I can honestly say it really hasn't been hard work. I'm not killing myself in the gym. I'm not eating stuff I can't stand. It really, really is easy. And with the new way it is, you can just try it for a month. Just try it for a month, see if it works for you. If it doesn't, no harm, no foul. But I think it's great. All right. Everybody have a great Sunday. and. Uh, Talk soon.